Hi, I'm Sean, and it's an absolute pleasure today to be joined by Michael Mears. Um, Michael Mears has been performing a one-man play that was critically acclaimed on the Edinburgh Fringe, and since then has been running both in the UK and recently come back from a tour in America. And it's a particularly interest to conscience because it talks about conscientious objection in World War One. Uh, Michael's going to take us through the motivations for him writing this play and the stories that he's going to be telling within it. And uh, I think now it's over to Michael. Hello, Michael Mears. Thank you very much for joining us today. We really appreciate it. It's a pleasure. Um, so, um, first question would be, takes us briefly through the story of this evil thing. Well, the play tells the story of a young Yorkshire school teacher, 100 years ago, who refused take up arms and fight for his country, his country being Britain, in the First World War. And as a result, he was arrested, he was punished, he was court-martialed, and he even faced the death sentence. And so the play follows his journey, and also follows the journey of a number of, of his fellow young men, conscientious objectors. And the background to the play is the lead up to the introduction of military conscription in 1916. And then once it's introduced, uh, the resistance to that conscription by the conscientious objectors and those who were supporting them. Great. Why did you write this play? Why did I write the play? I wrote the play because as the hundred year commemoration period was approaching of the First World War, I wanted to write something, being a pacifist myself, I wanted to write something which chimed with my own beliefs and which explored what I feel is a, a far less well-known side of the First World War, the, the anti-war movement, the pacifists, the conscientious objectors. Uh, these stories are not very well known, um, possibly for obvious reasons. And I was aware that there would be um, a plethora of material, documentaries, films, TV dramas, books, you name it, about the significant battles of the First World War, the privations of soldiers in the trenches, the effect on their families back home. But in fact, in um, I think it was in 2014 or so, I checked out the BBC's website just to see what they already had commissioned. And indeed, there were lots of dramas, documentaries and films and so on about those very things, but I couldn't see anything that seemed to be touching on the story of the conscientious objectors. Um, subsequently, one has seen conscientious objectors appear occasionally in an episode of a TV drama or uh, in an episode of their radio series Home Front, but the totality of the story of the conscientious objectors and their struggle for the rights of conscience in the First World War in Britain doesn't seem to have been told fully um, in drama anyway. There are some wonderful books um, about the subject. So that's what I wanted to focus on. And being a pacifist myself and passionately anti-war, I started researching the subject and very quickly realised just how little I knew um, the detail of what conscientious objectors suffered and what they endured and the way they organised themselves, the support they received, um, the way they were ostracised, the hostility they, they came up against. So that was sort of my, my, I wanted somehow, in whatever modest way my play might turn out to be, I wanted to get that story out there and, and to remember these, these brave young men and the people, the men and women who supported them 100 years ago.